It's Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Mate. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning to you. It's it's funny when I reach out and connect with especially new MVPs, and we you know follow each other on on LinkedIn, and suddenly I start seeing the activity in the feed and the conversation, and uh, it's always great to see the types of activities that are happening around the world, which is one of the reasons that I do this this interview to, to get to know people and different MVPs around the world in different focus areas. Exciting to know. And Mate, I always start out by asking, you know, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? Who am I? I'm Mate. Where am I? I'm in Budapest, Hungary, extremely sunny, super hot these days. Yeah. And what I'm doing, uh, I'm a Power Platform Consultant and Trainer and the brand new MVP for Biz Apps in Power Apps and Power Automate. Brand spanking new. It's been two weeks in, so you don't even have your the award yet. You've not received no, it. No, I, yeah. I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't even order it yet. So, yeah, I okay. haven't received it. That's always exciting to, to, to have that. Um, I know that you can kind of see behind me. So that my I just had my earn my 13th. So lucky 13. Woo. Yeah. So, but, uh, well, that's congratulations. I know that's a, that's a big deal. I, my, one of my favorite questions to ask, especially brand new MVPs is like, what was your journey to becoming an MVP? Like, where did you hear about it? Did you know about it or was it more of a surprise? Was it something where, cause that's actually happened where people like, I didn't even realize I was really in the running and was awarded, but what was your experience? Hmm. So there is a thing called year compass, which uh, it's like helping me plan out the year and reflect the previous year. And the last two year compasses I had, I want to become an MVP this year for 2024. 20, uh, I said, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to put it in there. And that's when I got nominated in this year when I didn't, you know, really, really, really wanted it. Just like, okay, if it happens, it happens. I will see how it goes. But uh, my initial focus wasn't to, to get the MVP title, just to, to help the community in, in Hungary, to put the Hungarian power platform people or um, experts into the map of the global power platform, because mm -hmm. we have our unique language. We have our, with, with that, we have our language barriers and yeah, just to, to put the, or bring the news to the, to the people here in Hungary. I think that was my initial focus and yeah. And, and in the last thing, two or three years, that's what I'm been focusing on just to try to, to bring the community together. At least they will know each other. They will see each other or, or hear about the news of our platform. It, it, it's interesting to go, I, I have this perspective of having interviewed hundreds of MVPs. Uh, it can literally say that, you know, uh, but exactly what you said, where some that just were so focused, like I want to achieve that, that goal. And I'd really like to be part of that community. Um, and, and many dozens that have said, uh, you know what, I just, I just stopped thinking about that. It's, it's never going to happen for me. I'm just going to focus on what I get out of, what I can give, what I get out of the community and the interaction. It's like those, you, you kind of relax and that's where it happens, which is, which is kind of like when you have a dream that you, uh, you forget, you wake up, you don't remember it. And then you go on with your day and suddenly it comes back to you. But that's a pretty yeah. common experience, which is, which is great. I like to think of it as like, have some humility about the, the, this this thing it's it, it is a big deal i mean there's only what three thousand of us worldwide 3500 i don't even know what the total number is um and so it's it's a pretty special thing so again congratulations thank you very much thank you well so one of the things i uh, it, we talked a little bit as before we started recording around uh like contribution types so what are your primary the ways that you give back to the community like what are you involved in I'm the leader of the Hungary Power Platform user group. So that's the, I think my number one focus is the user group. 
organizing events that's the second one for the user group or helping organizing other events such as experts live europe which comes to hungary uh, in september and also the third one to speak at uh, international events or at the user group as well so these three i also have a blog but yeah it's not so frequent and i i cannot keep myself cre uh, creating content for it i'm just not good at content creation on like when i have to yeah i i i write when i feel like i have want to write but yeah it's just uh, not frequent enough for for my liking so i when i have an idea i will write it down but other than that it's just like sits there so yeah it, you know, it it's funny because i had a conversation yesterday um with uh, uh with with a couple folks that i work with um where uh, like say so my number one contribution type is is blog blogging writing i like i've always been a writer since i was you know middle school stories that kind of thing and writing papers is the easiest thing for me to go and do and and uh so so research getting those guys exploring uh various ideas but generating ideas for content so last night, I literally, for this group of people, I was like, I'm just not sure what I need to write about. I created, I think, three dozen, I wouldn't call them full abstracts, but ideas mm -hmm. for articles. If you ever want to talk about how you get to that process, it doesn't mean you're going to write all of those. But yeah. you know, if anybody has questions about that, ping me. I can help you with that process. Because okay. it is, it's just a different way of thinking about content and generating ideas but as i tell everybody i work with uh, one thing it's a skill of mine i'm really good at creating work for other people <laughs> <laughs> nice. but uh well that's so what what events have you been doing what uh, like how broad have you been uh uh you know participating in events across uh the eu or the rest of the world uh so Events, uh, the first time I've been to a Power Platform Conference was in 2019, I think, when they had the first Europe uh, Summit here in Amsterdam, in, mm -hmm. in the Netherlands. That was the very first time in I ever been involved to any IT conference. And okay. it was like, whoa, yeah, this is nice. Yeah. So is that, great, that, yeah. that was the very first time. And then I had a break uh, for a couple of uh, years. Yeah, due to COVID, yeah, something happened. I think we all had a break. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, but I think then during COVID, that's when the world really opened for me because we don't have many events around me or around uh, Hungary. So that's when I was like able to get into conferences or just user group meetings when, because everyone went to online and virtual right. and I was like, oh, okay, let's have a, let's jump into a call at 1 a.m. in the morning and let's do another hackathon in 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 the uk and yeah. and it, i think that was my turning point because just hey uh, hey uh, mate i've lost your audio i like i, I can't hear you anymore hmm. oh, still or yeah no now it's, it's back. back it just yeah, oh, okay. it stopped there yeah okay it anyway. happens yeah uh so so, hang so on. yeah, and then, uh, yeah, is it back? I'm going to just check one thing. Hang on. It's all right. I can, I can edit. Yeah, I think it was actually, it may have been on my side. Okay, it looks to be, let me close this. teams is doing something so i just shut it down in my system tray so okay all right yeah sorry so i'll go ahead and i'll i'll edit in the middle here but uh okay 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 um so uh so you're just uh, so to kind of finish that thought so you were doing uh the the virtual events and stuff and then you know so now post pandemic post pandemic uh last year i was able to go to vegas to the power platform conference yeah. And I was involved as well in one of the, the panel conversations with uh, some, as a representing the user group leaders, like how, how to contribute to the community or how to just to be there with a super user and with an MVP. And 
Yeah, I, I've done some virtuals here and there. I flew to Malta to speak, uh, one of the islands in, in uh, Europe. And yeah, I think for me, the, the, the real deal will start in September because I, I've already have like four or five conferences lined up. So that's when, when I will start to get traveling, but I think it will be in Europe for yeah. now. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. To, to speak at those conferences. And what are what are your primary topics? Like, what what are you passionate about right now? What are you really focusing on within your space? Huh, non tech. That's uh, that's what I I picked. I was like, okay, everyone is talking about Power Apps, Power Automate, Copilot Studio, and whatnot, and Copilot, of course. And I wanted to have something that is non non tech related. So it is in a way. But one, one, is, one topic is that how to take everyday skills into low-code development. So to find like, oh, we have a graphic designer in the company. Let's make the app better. And we have a teacher in the company. Oh, maybe like, you know, just, uh, just to repurpose their, their knowledge and they might work in a different field or different um, job profile that their original... A profession and they might be happy to just use it that oh okay i was a teacher before but now i'm uh, working in hr mm -hmm. and let's let's repurpose so that's one and also the other one is how mentoring can help uh, citizen developers so those two like i think it's close like you you get the point that it's like about low code and citizen development mm -hmm. because that's how i started so i i real i feel really passionate about empowering people to to start with really start with low code and citizen development well what's great about that too and this is uh, it's something that my observation of attending events over the last 20 years is that you get especially mvps that are excited or obviously we're all technologists we're excited about learning the the newest technology um and uh yeah something there it is all right uh, we all we all want to learn the newest technology, and so there's almost like a race when new feature coming out and show the new thing, and want to be able to demo that. Where a lot of uh, users, a lot of participants in these conferences, like they're they're starting out, they need help for the first initial steps, and so writing about, speaking about, showcasing business scenarios, walking people through that have no background into these complex technologies and showing them, uh, you know, and this is, this is more of a statement for people that are, that are watching, that are interested in the program, but are like, like I work in the manufacturing industry or I'm in healthcare and I just have this role. Like, what could I go and do? And so there's a lot that you can go and do uh, around that, uh, you know, the solving problems within your industry, within your role um, you don't have to be an expert on all things of the technology, but sharing your journey and what you've learned and how you've applied the technology to improve your business. Those are valid stories. People want to hear about that. There are other people in similar roles in your industry that need that kind of help. So it's, uh, I'm always encouraging people to, uh, it, um, to take the time to document their story, their learning path. Because, you know, we, you and I might write something or speak on the exact same topic at different places in the world, yet we have different backgrounds, different experiences, the way that we tell the story. And some people will gravitate to yours, others to mine. So there's valid reasons to go out there. Don't, don't just look and say, well, somebody already wrote that penultimate article on that topic. No one ever needs to write about that again. Like, no, go go and tell your story. Yeah, yeah, and then and I think that's that's why what you said as well that it's it's uh when when we talk about tech we are like oh super excited but for the newcomers it means nothing. They just come here like why these people are excited that the new button just popped up in the Power App Studio. It's like they they don't get it. So that's why I, yeah, I think that's why I tried like, and it could be also like from a business perspective or decision makers, like, okay, how to start the citizen development. And it's not only just, okay, let's look at IT to create rapid application development. No, we can look 
as well to different, like to have these gigs within big companies or big corporations that, oh, okay, we can just bring in someone who has, I don't know, a passion for graphic design and make our apps look much better. That's why I use this example because this was the first time I met this uh, idea and I use it in my first app because I cannot make nice applications. So I found someone at finance and my, my peer like, oh, you are learning graphic design and you want to become a graphic designer later on. And she made the application look 100% better. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. There's something in it, in this one which we can utilize and use in, in big corporations. And people will be more happy if they can utilize their skills much better. So, yeah. And that's why I think that's, that's my, one of my main topics I would like to talk about. Well, that's a, a, again, that's something that uh, I know that you're not going out there and looking at, Hey, SEO, what are people actually looking for? What topics are, yeah, uh, there are some people that do that. I don't, I'm not knocking people for going and trying to only write about, talk about topics that are in high demand that people are searching for. That's a strategy to go out there uh, as, as a marketer. Um, like I get that. I understand that. Um, but when I like, kind of like you, it, it, when I, if I'm not interested in something passionate about a topic, like I don't want to go create more content around that thing. So it's, and sometimes topics that I'm interested in have very low view hit rate, whatever it is, you know, the conversion rate in, in, it, on the sites are very low. Other things that I think I'm just like, you know what, I just, I had this thought, I want to get it out there. And I like a productivity tip, like this is something I've run into. The feature has been there for 10 years, but some people just don't know about it or write about it. And that I have those blog posts that still get there's in the top 10 of all of my articles mm -hmm. on my, on my blog. Um, and I'm just like, like what I could go write more of that kind of content, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not interested in it. Right. Now. I've moved on from that. So, exactly. but, uh, well, l last question for you. I, I I'd love to hear now that you're a new MVP and maybe it's not happened yet, but will happen is that you'll have people that will reach out and say, well, what's your advice if I'm interested in the MVP program? So what do you tell people? What would you advise people to, are there areas that you think are not being addressed? Is there a, do you, do you kind of change your thinking of like what it takes to become an MVP? Like what's the advice you would give? I think the, the main advice would be just to, to be patient. I would say like, don't, I mean, work for it, but don't like, okay, that shouldn't be your sole goal in this journey. I mean, like just to make sure that you are trying to help others. I think that's, that would be my main advice that, that your audience should be your main, main focus. And, and if your audience is your main focus and you are helping others, the, the title will, or the, at least the nomination will come forward and, and it will become a reality but just to focus on hey hey i want to be an mvp i want to be an mvp that yes you can do that but i'm not sure if 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 the motivation is at the right place so i think yeah i just like to to focus on on your audience your picked audience and then uh, i think it will be the right people will find you and nominate you yeah it and again, my, my similar advice for people on that is it, you're, you're right. And I've had, I've got friends that, you know, gave up on the, the, the process. They just stopped thinking about it. And I remember one good friend of mine, great conversation where he said, you know, I've just decided I'm going to withdraw my name from it. And I it was just like, well, don't, don't do that. But he says, you know, it just doesn't matter. He says, I get uh, so much personal satisfaction out of you know what I've been able to do, the relationships I've been able to build. Like it doesn't matter to me. I said, well, that's the right attitude. It's the you know I'm look I'm going to do these things because I enjoy it because giving back to the community is just the right thing to do and the right way to work. And if it happens, it happens. I think that's the right attitude. Yeah. And if if these you know activities don't bring you joy then the three small letters will not bring you joy either so right that's the thing like you will get it you will be happy for a day then yeah yeah i'm an mvp what can i do with it but right but yeah 
Well, I really appreciate you taking the time and your uh, you know, end of day to uh, come talk with me and still the start of mine here. But, uh, well, Monte, for, for folks that want to reach out to you and connect with you, where are you most active in social? How can people find you? Uh, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn? I that's the, yeah. that's, I mean, I have an X, but no, LinkedIn. I don't, I don't look at Twitter or X, just LinkedIn. So, okay. I think that's the. We'll, we'll have we'll have the links. I'll even find and, and post a link to your blog that you don't uh, spend as much time on. Like it'll it'll be in there. People will will find it. it'll happen. And okay. uh, yeah, but uh, really appreciate your time. And again, folks that want to reach out and talk to to Mate, I'll have all the links. Of course, in the blog, it'll be in uh, the the YouTube and out on the uh, on the podcast as well. So, um, well, hope, hopefully we'll see you next spring at the. Uh, at the MVP summit, if you're planning to make your way over. We'll see about that. All right.